everyone. It's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art and the Weekly Rock and Pour collaboration. Thanks for joining us. And today I will be exploring the swipe technique that I learned from Amanda from Crystal Coast at the Fluid Art Boutique in Santa Fe back in April. So here I am using a 16 inch uh, round. It's Artist Loft from Michaels. And I was inspired by Karen from Waterfall Acrylics with my color palette. She did a Facebook Live a couple of months ago or a month ago, and she chose these amazing colors and the color palette is just simply beautiful so that was my inspiration today and I will also be doing um, the swipe on a 12 by 24 canvas as well so here's my first color it is quinacridone nickel azo gold as y'all know it is um, being discontinued so stock up if you can because it does go well with a lot of other colors. Um, so yeah, I'm just making <clears throat> kind of a diagonal S shape. And I realized with this swipe technique, you do not need a lot of pillow paint. You just need enough to cover your canvas and um, maybe a little more around the edges when you spin because you're going to spin, you're not really going to tilt. So there was um, Amsterdam gold followed by a mixture of this little piggy as uh, asparagus and lily pad. Karen used uh, this little piggy pre-night, but I didn't have it. So I had to mix those two colors up to kind of get a similar color. And that was Amsterdam phthalo green followed by this little piggy sea glass. And my last layer is Liquitex olive green light. So yeah, that is the olive green light. I mixed a little bit of golden green gold in it because my paint was a little too thick. But yeah, there is the Liquitex olive green. And I will be using a Amsterdam Prussian Blue Cell Activator. It is really, really pretty. And that is what Karen used. I will have her channel and Amanda's channel linked down below. So definitely go check them out. And here I am just using a regular car scraper, which is you know probably available for a dollar or two dollars at the hardware store um, or any like discount auto store. But I will be swiping gently. Make sure you push the pressure on your thumb on the handle and gently push your paint. I'm kind of going in a squiggly motion. So I will go around on one side and then go on the other and get this really nice uh, flow of the swipes. I will let you all enjoy the rest of the process. I will have all of the colors along with the materials listed down below in the description box. And yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of this video.
Okay, y'all, now I will be doing the same type of swipe on a 12 by 24 inch level three gallery wrapped canvas uh, available at Michael's. And here is my pillow paint. It is PPG Multi Pro eggshell white and pastel base. It's a little thicker, um, but that's my fault because I left it in the hot car for a couple of days. So guys, don't do that. And here I am just laying out how I will layer my colors. That is quinacridone nickel azo gold. Again, this color palette is an inspiration from Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. She is simply amazing. She is the creator of the Deconstructed Bloom. No one else does the Deconstructed Blooms or Blooms like her. She is simply awesome. Highly recommend her class and go check out her channel. And that is Amsterdam Gold. And also check out Amanda from Crystal Coast. Uh, I learned these swipes from her and she is simply awesome. Um, and she does some really nice Dutch pours as well. So this is a mixture of this little piggy lily pad and asparagus. I didn't have pre-night, so I mixed those two and got something similar to uh, TLP pre-night. And here's Amsterdam Thalo Green. I did mix a, a couple of drops of golden Thalo Turquoise to darken it up. And this will be followed by this little piggy sea glass, which is another beautiful piggy must have in your piggy collection highly highly recommend and this is followed by liquitex olive green light mixed with a couple of drops of golden green gold and again i will be using a prussian blue cell activator <music>
And y'all, here are the dried results of my 16 inch round canvas. It turned out really nice and I want to resin this. Um, the sea glass will really pop as well as um, lily pad and asparagus. So yeah, there you have it. My 12 by 24 is still drying, so I'll share those results in the next video. But thanks for joining us, guys. I really appreciate y'all. Stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome, guys. Bye.